guys, welcome to another episode of Halftime Roomies. Um, it's been another disappointing day at the office for United. So, uh, where do you think it went wrong, man, today? I think it was a team setup. The mm. team setup, I think we started um, a bit too defensive. Uh, three centre backs, two wing backs, um, the double uh, defensive uh, mid, the pivot we had. Um, we had a good thing going for the last, whatever, six, seven games, right? Because we had that same consistent team playing out. Okay, I mean, I get the point that Pogba was tired. You can see even the last game, he was a bit tired. Um, players do need a rest. But I just think that we set up to kind of not win, hmm. it seemed like. I think we, it was a very counter-attacking setup that we had. And the problem is that with only Fernandez, Rashford and James, Daniel James, it's not the most confidence-inspiring uh, attack, attack right with, with just three guys you're depending on just three guys and Chelsea's not a small team yeah they're not they're not bums like they won't just buckle under pressure of playing United um I, I, th I think the tactics on the setup were, uh, were not up to par do you think that he like wasn't interested in winning this one you think he was like basically like not trying to hedge his bets and saying Leicester's lost so now let's just focus on the Premier League for now and let's just play a weaker side for the FA Cup I don't necessarily believe that. I don't think he was not interested in kind of putting it all out there, but I I have to kind of agree to that statement as well because um, the team sheet didn't show the intent to win. I think probably he was banking on the fact that Leicester lost. We're, I think we're on the same goal difference now with Leicester and we have two games in hand as well. Hmm. Also, we have a game in hand over Leicester. So I think a, a win against West Ham puts us in the top four. Yeah, It might be true, it might not be true, but yeah, it, the team set up uh, didn't really inspire confidence. Yeah, yeah. For me, I'm not like too disappointed. I've not really... I think if, if it had to kind of go like the way it is, I would kind of take an FA Cup loss and like have United focus if you had to choose between the two. On the, yeah, I, yeah. Ideally, you don't want to like choose between the two, but like in this yeah. case... I also think it's unrealistic for players to kind of like keep going, like keep extending that uh, winning streak, mm -hmm. the unbeaten streak, and right. expect them to perform day in, day out when they're playing every two to three days. So I think like a slip up is is a little forgivable. And I think an FA Cup slip up is a little forgivable between the yeah. two for me at this point. But still, like I think you could have gone in and won both too. Um, but what did you make of De Gea's mistakes though? It's uh, two errors, too many, man. It's happening quite frequently now. Hmm. And we've seen that since the 2018 World Cup. I think, I think, I, I feel like Ronaldo kind of killed his confidence, right? I mean, the game against Spain that Portugal yeah. had, Ronaldo just battered De Gea. And I think he had a mistake in that game as well. And he hasn't been the same since. since yeah. He's still one of the best keepers on the planet. And I, I mean, during that six, seven year, uh, years stretch that he had, he was incredible. I don't think there was a better goalkeeper on the planet than De Gea between 2012 and I would say like 2016, 2017. Hmm. Uh, it's just, he's, I think maybe it's the confidence, maybe it's something else that might be bothering him. Maybe he wants to go back to Spain. Hmm. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's becoming a regular habit now where we drop points because our best player on the pitch uh, is underwhelmingly disappointing. Uh, disappointing. Say. Um, but you yeah. know what? What do you think about um, Bai? I think that's a big loss. I think that was um, like the fact that Bai is almost constantly injured now for United. He's barely featured like since we've purchased Bai. Mm -hmm. And I, I think like just not having that squad depth right now is it could be. Uh, I guess it could deal like a significant blow to United because in the off chance that you have another injury to either Lindelof or Maguire, yeah. that basically leaves you with what? Phil well, Jones. Phil Jones. I think Tuan Zebe we have. Tuan Zebe. Tuan Zebe again, is young. Again, not like not the most confidence confidence uh, in, inspiring um, bench. Yeah, man. And no, I don't yeah. I don't see like a Phil Jones doing anything against a Leicester no. attack like no, with yeah. like against Vardy and Madison. Yeah. So I'm hoping that there's no more injuries at least at the back. Um, Shaw is a big, um, big loss. loss as well. Um, yeah, but I think, I think now going forward, it is what it is right now. We've, yeah. we've, we are out of the FA Cup. What do you think is going to happen in the finals? Um, I think, I think Chelsea would take it. 
Hmm. I think I think it'll be a close game because Arsenal's been on a good run. They beat City and they beat Liverpool. Um, but the problem is Chelsea has a good overall team. Arsenal's defense, and even mid, I would say, uh, leaves you wanting for much more. Hmm. David Luiz has had exceptional games in the last couple of games, but it's again a very inconsistent uh, defense that Arsenal has. So I'm going for a two-one Chelsea victory for the FA Cup final. How about you? Oh yeah, I'm actually going the opposite, man. Russell. I'm I'm thinking that Davi Luiz is gonna have another belter <laughs> of a game. I'm saying uh, I'm saying two-one to Arsenal, Arsenal actually. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it'll be a close game for sure. Yeah. I don't, I don't think we're going, we're going to see a blowout victory for either team. Yeah, for sure. Um, but then now that means for United it's on to West Ham. Yeah. That's on Wednesday. Yeah. So almost a must-win game for United. Actually, I mean, I would say it is a must-win because win the game and we go three points clear of Leicester. Hmm. Um, and we also then get a superior goal difference. I guess that's very important considering the fact that we're playing Leicester on the last day of the season. Yeah, it's too um, tight then. Too tight. And it's an away game. So you don't want to be in a situation where you have a one-goal or two-goal difference. And you end up losing to Leicester, or it's 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 a shock victory for Le- uh, Leicester where they beat us three 0 four 0 and we lose out on goal difference because we've seen we've had terrible experiences with goal difference. Uh, I don't I don't really see want want that to happen again, but I guess I think we're, we're ge- we we I would say we're almost guaranteed a top four spot. I think Chelsea and Leicester would be the ones who will be left for the pickings of who uh, remains uh, in the top four. Yeah. Um, but Europa League, where do you see Europa, uh, Europa League? Because that yeah. starts next month. Yeah, I'm I'm honestly hoping that this game doesn't destroy the morale of yeah. the team. Because like those last, well, even the second half was very shoddy. I don't think United was, they had any clue about like mm-hmm. how to break that Chelsea defense. Yeah. So I'm really hoping it doesn't have too much an effect on them. I think, but because they have easy games in the run-up for the Europa League, um, like while when they start next, um, I think... That should build back some confidence. Yeah. Up till then, I think United can even focus on like just winning the Europa League and then securing mm-hmm. that spot. But let's not leave it to that. Yeah, I mean, see, in, in 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 my mind, I I guess as long as we get the top four, I guess then we should probably play the youngsters for Europa League. Not bother yeah. with that. Focus on the league. Get your signings in. Get some confidence back. Um, maybe Bai is back by then. We have a few few signings done as well. Um, yeah, I'm 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 really looking forward to the new season. Uh, the league, I think, will be very interesting. Yeah, for sure. The way it's building up, yeah. All right. Well, that's about it for another episode of Halftime Roomies. Um, let us know what you thought of United's performance today and what your predictions are for the finals as well. Uh, and uh, like, share, and subscribe. Yes, as always. Yeah. Cheerio. Toodles.